hoping to explore a world where we discover different explorers. Today, explorer is Vasco de Gama. De Gama grew up during an important time in Portugal's history. In the early 1400s, Europeans did not know much about the world beyond Europe. Around 1420, Prince Henry of Portugal started to hire sailors to explore Whoa. the west coast of Africa. Over the next 40 years, the Portuguese pushed farther south into unknown areas. By the late 1400s, the Portuguese were known as the best navigators and map makers in Europe. I'm King Henry of Portugal and I am in search for sailors. Hi you sir! Hello! What might your name be? My name is Vasco de Gama! Would you like to explore for Portugal? Probably! What do I have to do? Are you a sailor? I shall am! Then you will sail to India in search of trade for you spice got it. and jewels. I'll do my best, sir. De Gama set sail from Lisbon, Portugal on July 8, 1497. He had four ships and at least 160 men. De Gama sailed aboard the Sao Gabriel. His brother, Paulo, commanded the Sao Rafael. One of King Manuel's relatives was in charge of the Burrito. The four ship carried food and supplies. De Gama and his men carried enough food and supplies to at last three years. They also brought cloth, hats, bells, and other trinkets to trade with the people they met. Oh, what a lovely day in Lisbon, Portugal! I think I might go exploring! Hello, Brother Vasco! Hello, Paolo! Where are you, what are you doing? I'm going to go exploring. Where? Not sure. India, I think. I know. We could trade this hat. And this rum. Or these rocks. Yes. Let's, Let's go. go. The fleet sailed down the west coast of Africa, near the equator. Da Gama steered his ship far up into the ocean. There, the ships did not have to fight the winds and ocean currents. After a few months, the ship headed back toward Africa. On November 7th, the ships landed at St. Helena Bay. De Gama and his men stayed at St. Helena Bay for nine days. They fixed leaks in the ship, and they also traded with the African people they met there. On November 22nd, the ship rounded the Cape of Good Hope. De Gama and his men had used many supplies. They did not need the big supply ship anymore. They burned it so no one else could use it. A few weeks later, they passed the farthest point Diaz had reached. They were in unknown waters.